Hi guys! How are we all doing? I'm back. It's been a week since the last video. I don't want to hear me. Um, and I've kind of, I wouldn't say I had a week off from doing videos, but I've been concentrating on other things this week and haven't got around to doing one yet. As you can still see, the hat is still on. So this video, we are going to discuss um, fitness. Fitness and depression and how the two things can be resolved hand in hand or do they work hand in hand and what am I doing surrounding this so about uh, three years ago I'd done a trained and done a 10k 10k run and I'd done it in about an hour and nine uh, with about six seven weeks training unfortunately half of them were a little bit disrupted when I broke my toe um, funny story so basically I decided to get a pizza as a little treat before my training started and decided to run upstairs to get the money and kick the sideboard broke my toe and had to have a quite a few weeks off so the training was a little bit disrupted to say the least and the moral of the story there is always pay for pizza by card and you won't have this issue but that was a bit of a setback. Um, however, I did an hour and nine, but as soon as I did it, I never, I never did fitness again, ever. Um, I kind of just went off the whole thing. And it's a bit of a shame, because I did kind of enjoy the running side of things. So, if we fast forward to now, it was last week. Um, I, to be fair to some people, I mean, my bosses always went on to me at work going just do fitness it works just do fitness just do fitness no I don't want to get fit but the other week um, I was talking to a friend about depression strangely enough and she said um, that she was suffering from it and running really helped her get into it and I was like I'm still not overly sure uh, but I decided to make a splash and I went and ordered some kettlebells because I work away sometimes hotels aren't the best places to do running because you don't know where you are or don't know if there's anywhere to run I know you can kind of run anywhere but some of the places where you go you probably wouldn't want to run so well you'd be running but away from things so yeah I thought if I get kettlebells that's a good start but when I was in, when I got the kettlebells, I was like, right, I want some new trainers because I don't have any trainers at the moment. So I went Sports Direct and I was like, hmm, trainers, I'm going to get some running gear. So I just went out and got some running gear as well. And I thought, you know what, let's, kettlebells are during the week. Excuse me. When I might be in hotels or whatever. And then on the weekend, I can, you know, do some dragging and stuff, which is fine. So, the kettlebells, I had done a few of them. It's quite good. Um, then on the weekend, I got talking to the same friend again, and she put me into a close group on Facebook. Who are just the most wonderful bunch of people ever. They're all into running, mainly from the northeast. I literally spent all Sunday just chatting to people, talking, doing this. So on Saturday, I did my first ever park run, 5K. Help me help me please that is not good um i bought a new fitness watch it's a fitbit blaze oh it's it's such a nice watch i was gonna see if it's around it is around here i think it was there it is really nice little watch um so i bought that and i bought some scales however the scales were a bit funny i mean if you look at me here would you describe me as obese no would you? I, I don't know. I wouldn't personally say I was obese. It come these scales and BMI and where I place on the BMI chart, I'm obese. I come to that thing, I need to lose two and a half stone. I Just to get into health, that's not bottom of healthy, that is top health. That is the bottom, well, top, I don't know what way you're looking at it, but to get into, just into being healthy, apparently I need to lose two and a half stone. I'm a bit confused about that because. I would say a stone, maybe a stone and a half tops I could lose, but two and a half, Jesus, that's a lot to lose. And yeah, that was a bit of a shock today. I was like, I just, two and a half, so I've just, I've literally just went, 
Nah, you can you can go off and do your own thing. But I am going to use the scales to kind of keep an eye on my weight because I do want to lose some. So yeah, I have started running. So on Saturday I went for a about a two mile run, I would say. And on Saturday I thought it'd be a great idea to go for a five mile run. That was a bad idea. It took an hour and fifteen, I want to say, um, to do it. But it was mainly jogging and walking. <laughs> but still five miles. Not too bothered about that. I am honestly, I was only one mile off only being out of it. Uh, doing a 10k run, so I mean, really considering I've just came back into it, I was quite happy about that. But if we bring it back to the original point in the video, because I always go off on a tangent, can fitness, in my opinion, help with depression? And I think the answer to that is yeah, most definitely. Uh, fit, everyone knows that fitness is good for endorphins. Is that you endorphins? Endorphins? I'm sure millions are shouting going, it's that! I don't know, whatever they're called. They get released and they give you that natural high. Also, I'm going to be controversial here, pain is good. I've, I've been pay, all pain all day to day, but I felt good about it. And being you know, fit, being, as a single person, the last thing I want to do is getting old, uh, losing my hair, and getting fat, that's the absolute last thing I want to do, so I can't control that the fact my hair's gone, at all, um, I can control if I'm single or not, I guess in a way, however, one thing I totally have control over is my fitness, and that was something I was like, right, let's just take control. I want to get back to being fit. I want to get back to it. I want to feel good about myself. I want to be able to look in the mirror and go, yeah, you, you know, you, you're you looking all right. I want that confidence thing. And joining these running clubs, I'm going to join a running club in the next few weeks, doing park runs and doing sign up for races in this closed Facebook group. I'm going to start meeting people. I've already got uh, people lined up to meet on Saturday. They've all invited me down to go to one of the park runs. So... There you go, there's a social circle opening up, which I haven't had before. I must admit, I don't have many friends. Uh, well, in the real life, I suppose, I've, I've loads of those elsewhere. Um, but around me, that I could just call up and go, right, do you want to do something now? The, it's a little bit limited at times. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's not there, but it can be a little bit limited. And just opening up a new social group of friends, interacting with people, getting out and about on weekends, not just by myself, because I tend to just, like, I can happily go out and do things on my own. And doing things, that's going to open up new avenues, new friendships, new groups, um, being able to do stuff, especially when I work away all week and come back on weekends. And that can only be a good thing for depression for most people. Once you start interacting with people, once you start getting out there, once you start getting active, that's really good. And I think that, I know it's pretty obvious. I mean, I could start the beginning of the video and went, right, okay, fitness is good for you, bye. But, I, I, you know, like most people are going to go, yeah, why? Why? And you know, I don't know if here. Fat, huge, massive, obese, apparently. There's nothing to stop you go out and having a run. And I'm now fortunate to live in an area where I do have quite a nice run beside me. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't. And there's nothing to stop you. Gyms are expensive. Running's kind of free. Um, even if you pick up kettlebells, I paid... I was going to see if there's one beside me. There is, but it's 12 kilograms. That's pretty... Pretty... Oh god. That's a kettlebell in case you didn't know. And I'll bring my book down. And yeah, there's some videos on YouTube and stuff just teaching what to do. And that also gives you a really good cardio. You don't even have to leave the house. Twelve quid for that. You don't even have to wear a pair of trainers. You don't even have to wear any clothes if you don't want to. Don't want don't want that image. Uh of me anyway. So you can literally just pick one of them up and the workout's 30 minutes on YouTube. There's loads of workouts and it absolutely ties you out. But it's really good for cardio. It's good for the arms. It's good for it's good for the physique, everything. So this for 12 quid, that's 6K. You can get 8Ks, 10Ks, whatever. For that, that's it. As long as you've got YouTube, which if you're watching this, you probably have, and a floor, my flow's not massive, as you can see, but it covers fine. You can do it. And I don't like all the exercises. So what I do is when one of the exercises comes up that I don't like, I just uh, start doing sit-ups or press-ups or whatever. Or just even some arm kills or just something just to keep active. And 
yeah, there's no excuse for it, really. So, fitness, I will keep you updated on this. Um, I am excited for my first park run. I'm hoping to go around about the 35 minute mark. I don't know if that's been ambitious or what, but average time for most runners is around about the 27, 28 minute mark. So if I put myself seven minutes behind, which is quite a big scale in that small time period, then I think I'm in for a bit of a winner on this one. Um, so yeah, I will do an update video as well, just to tell you what else has been happening probably towards the back end of the week. But I like to do one of my topic videos every week and I missed it last week. So this one was just talking about fitness and how I'm now trying fitness as one of them things to overcome my depression. And we'll see. It's good. Hopefully it's very, very good. I'm going to be in a lot of pain, but it's going to be a good thing. So I'll see you all later. I hope you're all fantastic. I'm sending you loads of positive energy, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.